Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, so this video I'm going to show you how I organize all of my hamster supplies. I have two hamsters, so I have quite a bit of things for them. Um, and I was looking on YouTube to like before I got all my stuff organized, and I was like, um, like looking for inspiration on how to organize my stuff, and I couldn't find that much out there. So I decided that now that I have all of my stuff organized, I'm gonna show you guys. So right here um, is where I keep all of my hamster supplies. Um, over here, um, in this cage, is one of my tree, uh, great tree frogs, but then underneath here is where I keep all my hamster stuff. So, in this one right here, I have three drawers. Um, the top drawer, I'll just pull it out here, um, is where I keep most of my natural supplies. So these are little things that I actually kind of DIY. Um, I didn't make them, but I bought something like something that they all came on a big string of. Um, so that these are what these ones are from. And then these big ones, I have two. Um, I'm not sure what the other one is. I have a purple one and an orange one that's bigger like this. Not those ones. Um, and they're actually cat toys that I took bells out of. And then I put um, treats in them, and then they chew them up and use them as two toys. Um, oh, here it is. See, this was is very is very used. <laughs> Um, so right here, um, is a bird toy that you hang from the top of the cage, um, and, uh, it's like coconut, and then it has, I think, wicker, uh, little rings coming off. Um, I haven't used that one very much yet. This is, um, I don't know, just some hide that, like, I got at the pet store. Um. Here I have um, these coconut things that I got off Amazon. So, I don't have one hand here, but um, you hang both from the top of the cage. And then it has a ladder. And I usually put the ladder kind of going on the ground. like Or one, one of the coconuts on the ground. Um, and then the other one in the air. And then, so then she can crawl up the uh, ladder. This one's actually a bird toy, I believe. When I get mice in the future, um, they will really like that. Um... This, I believe, is another bird toy. It's a ladder that you... This is, mo like, a lot of this stuff is, like, my hanging toys, actually. But also natural stuff. Um, you hang both of these from the top of the cage. Um, and it's, like, a little hanging bird ladder type thing. Um, this I didn't show. This is a food dish. It's kind of... All the paint's chipping off of it. But, um, I actually used this for my leopard gecko for a while. But then I switched to a ceramic dish. Um... These are actually sticks that I collected from outside, um, or I, I collected big sticks, and then I chopped them up, and then I baked them. Um, I can make another video on that if you want. Um, but yeah, I baked them, and um, you can coat them in like a super light um, coat of peanut butter to get them to chew on them, and they're really good for natural cages. Um, these right here, I believe, are willow, maybe? Um, or hay, I'm not exactly sure what they are, um, but they're, I just got them at the pet store, they're little hamster chews, they've never used these before, but, um, I'll try putting, like, peanut butter on them, see if they'll use them, just fell off, um, this is something I got at the pet store, um, I think they're, like, apple, I think they're supposed to be, like, apple flavored or something, I haven't used these yet, I just got them, um, here's another hanging toy, it has a little ball on it, um, whatever this is, and then a wood block. Here's another one. I actually have two of these ones in um, one of their cages right now. Um, but it's just something I got at the pet store. Um, it's like a rope with uh, sticks on them. I actually kind of want to try making these one day. Um, here are all of the balls. <laughs> um, this is the top of a um, some sort of outdoor uh, lighting thing for like a garden, um, and the lights stopped working or something, so we um, got new ones, and then I kept one of these. Um, I actually originally used it for my American Toads, um, and then I kind of put it in the dirt a little bit, um, but I don't know. I just have it in here now. I don't really use it, so I'll try to figure something out that I could uh, either make or do something with that I thought it was cool looking. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Right next to this bin, I have um, this spray. I've only used it a couple times. I always just forget about it. 
but it's supposed to eliminate um, odor and stuff. I've never really used it because I spot clean, so my um, hamster's cages never really stink, but I figure once I get mice, um, that might come in handy, especially if I get a male. I forgot to mention also that um, um, right now one of the cages is a natural tour, or an, I mean a natural uh, cage themed, so a lot of that stuff is in one of the cages right now. So this next drawer here, I have all food and treats and stuff. So right here are like my bulk containers. Um, this one I keep the Sunburst mix, and then the Missouri Rat and Mouse, Rat and Mouse blocks. Um, that's their lab block that I use, and then this is the seat mix that I use. So yeah, this is um, like the bulk container that I use. I'm actually r running a little low right now. Um, but then I also have um, a container like this. This is a different food that I'm trying to use up before I um, use the Missouri. I'm like going, um, I'll do two of each of these every three days. Um, so I'm trying to use these up. These are the original food that I got along with the seed mix. Um, but it's not as nutritious as the Missouri Lab Block are. So I'm just trying to use up the last of these. But I also have like another container, or two other containers like this, that I keep next to the hamster cages, um, full of the smaller containers of the seed mix and the um, lab blocks. Um, right here I have oat sprays. They're for birds, but um, I saw on different YouTubers cage tour they have these for the natural cage. So I thought I'd try them. They haven't done too much with them yet. Um, but oh well. Right here I have oat groats, so they are um, what is inside of these oat sprays, um, and they like these a lot. Right here um, is um, little cheese yogurt drops, I haven't opened them yet, I actually just got them for the first time, so they've uh, never had these before. They've had um, some other kind of yogurt fruit ones uh, when I first got there. Um, but, yeah, they're a different kind, but I figured I'd try, because they love the little cheese wood chews that I bought for them. They were gone within a day, like, gone. Um, uh, here I have freeze-dry mealworms. Um, here I have millet. I, um, cut them into little, um... I cut them into um, little chunks, um, and yeah, they like these a lot. I use them um, especially with their natural cage tours. Their natural cage themes. I hate saying tours. <laughs> Here are a couple extra scoops that I have um, from shake containers. This I actually um, is like the size of a scoop that I use for my uh, dog's food. But yeah, here are some extra scoops. Okay, for the third contain or the third for the third bin down here, I have kind of some random stuff. Um, a lot of DIY things. This little um, pink hut. I had it in their travel cage since it's small. Here are a box of some shoes that I have. Um, this is a cat toy. Um, some sort of willow thing. Um, some sort of hay chew. I don't know. I haven't even used this yet. I just got it. Um, it's apple. It came in a two pack, and one of them is in the cage right now. Rocks that I painted a couple years ago for Halloween. Um, I have a bunch of mineral chews. Um, they don't really use them, but I just throw them in sometimes. Um, some sort of tiny tails. Um, I don't know. Chew. I think it came with three of them. And a bunch of hamster to chew on these, like I said earlier, I rub peanut butter on them, or, um, different kinds of tasty, like, um, I don't know, things you could spread on them, um, you don't want to coat it, but just, like, a, a layer so it smells nice for them, and then, um, entices them to chew them, um, some paper towel tubes, I have a few of those, um, I don't remember where this is from, but it's some sort of paper towel roll thing. Um, 
here's something that I cut to, um, you can put hay in it or um, millet or oat spray, just different things like that so they can pull it through the holes. Um, or you can even make the hole smaller and then fold in this, these ends or tape them, or not tape them, I mean uh, hot glue them, um, and then put treats in them and they'll uh, have to chew it up. This is a bunch of toilet, or, uh, yeah, paper, or toilet paper tubes that I glued together. Um, if you want to do something like this or just any sort of DIY thing with um, glue, uh, use non-toxic hot glue. It works best. And then I um, hot glued a little ladder on the side. Here is a... It doesn't look the best. I'm going to try making a different one in the future, but um, a platform. Uh, paper towel, I mean, yeah, toilet paper. Um, this is something I got off Amazon. It's a little wood thing. Um, and then one of these things. I'm sure you've seen them before. Okay, so that's everything in this side. Um, and now down to uh, this bottom one right here. Um, in this one, I have some different fabric things. Um, this is a hanging um, nest thing. Um, this is um, something for uh, sugar gliders or like rats maybe possibly. I don't know. Um, but it's like a inside. Inside here it has um, a bunch of pieces of um, felt or whatever. Um, and you can put them in here. I've only used this a couple times. I got it as a Christmas present um, two years ago. Um, here is a ladder that I built. Here are a few platforms. I actually made this for the wheel uh, one time because I, at first I just um, glued all this together, but then it kept uh, sliding around, so I built this to for the wheel to go on so that um, they wouldn't bury it. This I used when I had one of my hamsters in a temporary 20 gallon tank. Um, I put it on half, so then on half of it I could put um, almost like seven inches of bedding on one side, otherwise um, I wouldn't be able to fit the wheel in if I had it on both sides. But this is when I had one of my hamsters in the, in the temporary 20 gallon. Now she's in a 40 gallon. Um, this is a, a little like small animal thing, like a bed type thing you hang. Um, here's a water bottle holder and food dish, um, and then it also has like a hide in it. I don't use this anymore, now I velcro them, uh, with an industrial velcro, velcro, uh, to the side of the tank, so then, um, these things don't get tipped over and stuff like that. Um, uh, here's a purple plastic hut. Here's another ladder. Uh, here's a tube, it stretches out, and then you can put it under the bedding for them to use as like a starter burrow. Um, and here are like some puzzle playground pieces. It comes with quite a few pieces and then you can uh, I don't know, make your own playground. Um, and then for the top here, I have two play pens. They're two separate play pens. Um, and then I use these for playtime or um, when I do free range in my room and uh, I block off certain parts of my room with these. Um, and then, um, I keep a bunch of random boxes, um, uh, cause you can bury them in the bedding, and then, I don't know, they can use them. Uh, here are a few others, here's another Capri Sun one. Um, and then this one, I figured I'd use it as like a, um, like a wedge, and I could put it like against the side of the tank, and then they could go in this bar, and then up here I could put the food dish and stuff. For cleaning supplies, all I use is vinegar and water and like a spray bottle um, and then paper towels and I keep that with some of my other cleaning supplies for my other pets. Um, and then I have their travel cages or emergency cages up here with a bag of food and then and this one I have a bag of treats. Um, and then they each have water bottles, um, these are like emergency cages um, or travel cages or um, cleaning cages and just stuff like that. Um, and then above my other hamster's cage here, um, I have uh, treats, and then in here I have 
um, a container, this is the container of food I was talking about, um, and then a bag of the food that I'm trying to use up. Uh, right next to the cage, I do keep um, a bag of the soft bedding, and then over here, a bag of aspen bedding. Um, and I'm actually out of sand right now, but otherwise that would be in, right in here. But yeah. Oh, North came out to say hi. <laughs> I do keep underneath her wheel since she is a wheel peer um, and she poops while she's running so it goes flying so I keep it her wheel inside of this bin right here that has some um, litter so then it keeps the smell and then instead of I have the small area so then instead of going into all this bedding right here it has its own space for it so I can clean it out a lot easier but yeah uh, that's it for the video guys thanks for watching Leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, leave a comment of what video you want to see next. Bye.